Back on GoPowerCat.com, I am here with future Kansas State Wildcat specialist Chris Tennant. Chris, a huge win against Derby. First, let's just talk about uh, the way that the team came out and, and excelled tonight against the defending 6A state champs. You guys are state champs yourself, so uh, what was the like heading into this game, and how do you feel like you guys executed? Shoot, man, starting shooting the summer, we had our, we had our target set. We have goals every single week, and we're going to pursue them. So these boys are hungry, um, coming in the weight room day in, day out, coming to practice day in, day out. We knew Derby was going to be a good opponent, opponent the second we got matched up against them. We knew we had to bring it, and we that's just what we did. So, How about your performance tonight? You, you got out there and, and didn't have a whole lot of punting yeah, duties tonight. Punting, but, but Yeah, what do you what'd you like about yourself tonight? Uh, I was good with kickoffs. Um, I felt comfortable with those. I finally got settled in. Punting, I mean, she only had one attempt. <laughs> It went like in the air for 35 yards. It wasn't that good of a hit, but I was happy with it. You know, first game, kind of getting the jitters out. I was happy with it. Right. Uh, but definitely want to do better, no doubt. With the recruitment, Kansas State pops up. You decide to go ahead and commit. How long had that recruitment been going on, and what, what made you choose the Wildcats? So that actually started down in February after a camp that I had, uh, Coles Camp, mm -hmm. in January 4th, down in Orlando. I had a, had a good camp, and shoot, I think Kansas reached out. Uh, K-State reached out February, and then since then, me and Stan Weber have been on and off, talking, phone call, Zoom. He showed me the program, and then finally, a couple more camps later, um, I narrowed it down to about three schools, and Kansas State. And so Stan had, had all the coaches call me, like the last two weeks, and that's when I just saw, you know, the coaches, they're invested. You can tell that they want what's best for the players. And I mean, really, it just came down to that. Best coaches, best fit, close to home. You know, a lot of fans around here, especially. So, just all those factors kind of led into me uh, choosing K State. How important was the the history that they have with specialists, uh, both punters and kickers? Um, have you done research? Did they did they sell you on that as well? Yeah, definitely. So uh, Devin Angtill, actually, I punted with him a lot leading up to my commitment. So I I talked to him a lot. You know, talked to climbing a little bit. I mean, shoot, there was everybody. I could see that they were invested. Devin was giving me lots of pointers, telling him how they've helped him grow and improve as a player, and shoot, that all helped me. Um, when you when you think about how you fit with that program, do you, do you feel like that you will will fit in first as a maybe on kickoffs, punting? I mean, where where do you think you'll kind of slide in best with them right now? Um, do they do they like a certain part of your game better than another? So I actually got recruited higher as a punter than mm -hmm. I did as a kicker, but I love kicking, and that's another reason I kind of chose K State is they kind of wanted. They had a spot for both. Um, so right now, especially if, now that the NCAA said that players can return for the next season, I think it's a little bit still up in the air whether Blake will return or Blake Lynch, that is, or whatnot. So we'll see. Um, obviously, I love doing both. So and I'll triple. I mean, kickoffs, field goals, and punting. I love them all. But we'll see. I'm not really, like, zoning in on one so far, but maybe next summer or shoot some after that, I'll kind of narrow down on one. Chris Tennant here on GoPowerCat.com.